everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got these great cutting dies from our friends at Made to Surprise. These are super sliders and I'm going to show you this one is the 6x6 circle and this one is the 6x6 square. Um, here is the first one. They make these really cute kind of surprise slider cards. See? Isn't that cute? This one, my friend Debbie made into a photo card. Let me show you what she used. This is the Lacy Coral Paper Pack that she used. Um, her base is made out of cardstock, and she used the Lacy Coral, and then she also added these little fun little sparkly elements. This is um, gold sparkle holographic paper. And let me show you this basically how this one was built. Now this one I have one I'm gonna step out for you. So um, I wanna save that for a moment. Okay, here is the circle one. And this one has a little pull on it. Pull that up, happy birthday. And then she put this cute little secret pocket in here, which is perfect for a cute little gift card. Isn't that great? I love that idea. And let me show you for this one, Debbie <clears throat> used brand new from Hot Off The Press, this fabulous folded card. This is a mini envelope and gift card holder. And this is what it looks like, that die. And then you can just fold up your own little mini gift card holders. She just tucked right in here. She also used this great holographic, silver star holographic paper. And from Hunky Dory, this is Diamond Sparkles Shimmer Cardstock. This is Midnight Black. And what this is, is like a glitter paper. It's really beautiful. It's like it's embossed, okay? But it doesn't come off on your hands. So it's great. And you get 10 sheets of this in this pack. And she used that as her background. And I have all these little dies I'm gonna show you, but I think I'm gonna first, I'm gonna show you how to put these together. That's probably the best part of the explanation. So here, got some pieces that I've already die cut, and I'm using the square set. So the first thing you're gonna start with are all the large pieces like this, okay? You also have the little mechanism that's getting pulled up. So we're gonna start with those pieces. First thing you're gonna die cut is the background piece. Oops, on one, here we go. So here's the background piece. And this is just cut out of gray cardstock from our pastel cardstock papers. Then you're gonna cut another one. This one's gonna get cut from the same square. And then you're gonna remove that one and then you're gonna emboss because some of these have these great little stitched a little stitched embossing. So you're gonna emboss it like that, all right? And then you're also, probably at the same time you emboss that, you could just tape that down use some, using a little stencil tape or washi tape. You put that down right there. This is actually gonna cut this mechanism that's gonna fold up, okay? You can put those through at the same time. All right, then inside, this is the background piece right here. And then this piece right here is cut with this. And um, I used for just adding a little glitter, the Diamond Sparkles Shimmer Card Sky Blue. Once again, it's this great glitter paper, nothing comes off. And I also added some dazzles on here for my little greeting. These are this great happy birthday dazzles. They come in all these great colors. And on the top and the bottom here of my mechanism, I added some teal jewel border dazzles just to add a little bit of sparkle. All right, so once we've got to this part, we're gonna do a little layering here. Okay, so on the back of this folding mechanism, I put a little bit of extra sticky tape. You could use glue. We like to use our Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. This stuff is great too. But for the mechanism, 
Debbie recommends using the extra sticky tape because you really want that to bond because you're going to be pulling on that and doing lots of stuff. So we want to decorate. The first thing you want to decorate is this bottom piece right here. And then you're going to take this little extra sticky tape and you're going to adhere that right to the bottom edge of this piece so that when you pull it up, it just takes that edge with it. So, I forgot the best way to show you this here. I'm just going to stick this right there. All right, it's nice and adhered. I'm going to turn this over. That's what it looks like. Debbie wrote some little notes on here for me. Top and bottom. I oh, appreciate her. She makes me look good. All right, so now we're going to put this piece right over here, but we're going to need to add some glue right along this side area. We don't want to get any glue on that mechanism that's getting lifted. We're just going to very carefully do a thin line. We don't need a lot of glue. In fact, if you get too much glue, it might seep onto that area, and we just don't want that happening. All right. So this piece is just going to get aligned with that bottom piece. We're making sure our glue is there. Make that connection. All right? And then we're going to make sure that that stays free of glue. Yep, it's working great. I like to put the little, um, I did hole punch right here. And I like to put a little hole punch there with a little ribbon because I think the recipient gets this and it makes it very obvious for them to see um, where to pull. So um, I did forget to mention that as you are die cutting your pieces, get this piece, there's this little notch piece right there. So when you do your front, your front cover piece, um, the last thing you should do is make that little notch. All right, so we're all set here. Now I've got this little front panel piece, which I die cut from, oops, from this piece. Okay, that's the same piece that I used here. And I wanted that to be a little more substantial, so I actually matted that with a little bit of white cardstock. But the paper pack that I used was um, Dotted Duo's paper pack number two. It's got all these great pastels. It's got a small dot on one side and then a nice big cheerful dot on the other side. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is, we're waiting for our glue to dry. We're going to go ahead and glue this just to this panel right here. Okay, and just a couple of dots of glue is going to keep that secure. And I like to lift it up a little bit like that while I'm gluing that so that I can make sure I'm getting it centered. And I can tuck my fingers under there, make sure that glue is making the connection. Okay, and then I'm going to lay that flat. Right. But while that's drying, we get to have the fun part of decorating. See, this is so great because it has all these great little pieces here. Oops, <laughs> got these great sunglasses or eyeglasses. Okay, and it's got some little star border. I'm gonna take our star border. I cut this twice from that sky diamond paper. I'm gonna glue one at the top and then I cut a little bit off the bottom of another one. That there, that right there. Okay, I think I like that. Whoops, out of frame here. And I'm just going to glue this here. I want to move it over a little bit. And I just thought this was a really fun card for like a teenager. Got lots of sparkles on it. Do you have a daughter or a granddaughter or a young friend that enjoys fun and glitzy things? All right, so then from these little pieces, 
We've got nail polish and a little drizzle of nail polish, which I thought was fun. I used this fuchsia suede paper, and suede paper um, has this great texture on it. It's basically fabric with paper on the back. I'm gonna do a little bit of glue here. And then here's this little drizzle of nail polish. And then I die cut, this is the brush and the lid to the nail polish. Go. These are the pieces I've used so far. And what I did is I die cut this out of black and then also out of gray. And then I just cut away from the gray the little brush part. Did a little paper piecing there and glued the brush onto the black. There we go. Fun piece. Then we've got cute little hugs and kisses and some stars. The order. And then when I open this up, we're going to add another element to the inside. So this would be a great place to put another pocket. But when I open this up right here, we have this little love piece. I think I'm going to put that on the inside and that way you could write love mom, love grandma. Now ideally this piece that's on the inside should dry completely before I shut this so I don't want to tear this off when I shut it. So assuming that that's nice and dry we can shut that. Alright so now we've got everything put together. Fun little card front. And then you just pull that open, and isn't that cute? Okay, there we go. All right, so you've seen all the elements that make the square shape, but for this round shape, it has a few things that are different. These great high heel pieces, very cute. So Debbie Kite die cut the background here. Here's a circle piece here. Okay, so then here's this piece right here out of the silver. And then you'll notice that this mechanism piece right here is rounded at the corners. And that's because when you were gluing this here, you don't want these square pieces sticking out. This one has a rounded mechanism. The round topper. Okay, so you guys, we've got a great money saver on these, these fun, fun, fun interactive cards. Um, if you're watching us on our vlog page, then go ahead and look on the right hand side and you'll see a photo with these money saver um, packages right here for the super sliders. So just click on that, and it'll take you to the money saver page. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just look in the description box below the video for the money saver link as well as a link to paperwishes.com where you'll find lots more videos and fun things to play with. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.